What's going on everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. As you can see, nice green day in crypto. It's always nice. But in this video, we have a RTX 3060 Ti for the win three by EVGA. This card, it's rock solid. About 60 to 62 mega hash. Obviously the real cost of these are going through the roof right now, but MSRP is really not too bad on these. I mean, depending on where you get it, obviously. As you can see, this is sitting on a Misfit Mining tabletop mount. This is just gonna be a quick video. I actually had an entire video of this unboxing and my SD card needed to be formatted, so I lost all that footage. Um, but either way, let's go throw this on the rig alongside the GeForce RTX 3070, the Ventus 3, the card that I'm gonna be giving away, and we'll see what it pulls for a hash and then I'll give you guys uh, my overclocks for it and we'll go from there. So let's get to the rig. All right, so we have the 3060 installed. Now let's kick this thing on. And we're gonna go downstairs and see how this thing's hashing in Hive OS. All right, so we're here in the farm. This is the old USB that I'm using, the 1660 super amped rig. And the 3060 apparently picked up the Supers overclocks. That's kind of funny. And it's running at, geez, 213 watts. Yeah, that's, nope, not, not happening. All right, so we're gonna change that to 115 immediately. That affects that. I believe the absolute core clock was 1460. I think it's between 1430 and 1460. So I'm gonna put 1430 to start. The memory, I think I'm gonna put 2200. Actually, you know what? I'll put 2350, just like the 3070. We'll keep the power limit at 115 and the fan at 70% and see what it gets us. Real quick while we wait, I'm going into the wife's farm. I wanna see what I have my other 3060 set at. Okay, so that's about right. So 2350. 1430 to be honest I can probably pump this up a bit I'm gonna put this to 2450 just like the other ones all right so let's go back to the other farm let's see where we're at all right apparently this power limit is not agreeing with this card so what we're gonna do is let's go to 125 we're going to go 2450 on the memory like the other cards and we'll leave that at 1430 so I'm gonna hit apply and what I'm gonna do is reboot the rig because I want the overclocks to actually take full effect. So now we'll give this a minute, we'll let it boot up and we'll see what she's hashing at because 51.77 mega hash is not acceptable. Look at that, 61.16 mega hash. I wonder if I bump up this core clock to 1460 if this number will come up a little more. Just for the hell of it, let's see what it does. Because technically it's still the absolute core clock. The absolute core clock on these cards are between 1430 and 1460, I believe. As you can see, it still says absolute core clock. Let's reboot it one more time just to see it take full effect. Okay, so she just rebooted. As you can see, it didn't really do too much between 1430 or 1460. It's at 61.21. It's honestly a solid mega hash. Um, we can raise the memory, but this right here is probably a comfortable, not working a card too hard overclock. So let's try 2500 and we will see what that does. All right, so I raised it a little bit, 61.33. Let's go up to 2550. 2550 pumped it up to 61.42. I'm gonna push it a little more. I'm gonna go to 2600 just to see. All right, 61.5. You know what? I'm okay with that, 61.52. I think that's as much as I'm gonna push the card. I wanna see how stable this is overnight and then I'll adjust it further if I need to, but at least you guys can see some overclocks that work for me on this card. 1460 absolute core clock. So I have 1460 on the absolute core clock, 2600 on the memory, 
70 on the fan and 125 for the power limit. I noticed on the uh, EVGA cards, 125 on the power limit is pretty much where you want to be. The 115 chokes it down so bad that it really kills the mega hash. So I don't know, up to you guys, but I just bump it up the extra 10 watts. It is what it is. So yeah, this is just meant to be a quick video, guys. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully this helps you with your own RTX 3060 Ti's. Um, again, I'll do some further testing on this a little down the line. I'll give you guys an update with my overclocks. I'll probably go through a whole walkthrough on my Hive OS at some point, show you guys all the cards I have, all the overclocks. I'll just make one giant killer video. But until then, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.